Picks Morning News, brought to you by Stonegate Wealth Management. You know what today is, our road to the New York City Magical Wedding presented by the Scotter Brothers. It continues. Well, what become, comes between most couples? Here's a, a little hint for you. It's green. Money can lead to many fights in households. And here to give some advice on how to keep the peace is a certified financial planner, Carrie Carbonaro from Stonegate Wealth Management. Good morning. Nice to see you. Thank you. Thank we're you talking, for having me. Got a little bit of our money right here on the table. <laughs> Not real, but it's okay. It makes me feel good anyway. Tell me a little bit about what you do, uh, first of all, and when should couples even start thinking about money when it comes to their marriage? Well, first, I think most couples should be talking about money pre-getting married. Okay. It's a very important thing. You're not only merging your life, mm -hmm. you're merging your finances. And that comes with a lot of emotional issues around money. Um, and it also causes a lot of problems down the road. So I think the sooner you start aligning goals, the better. So where do you start when it comes to marrying assets? Because there's so many places to begin. Well, I think the first thing is to have a frank discussion with your partner and decide what are your goals, mm -hmm. short term and long term. Are you on the same page? Are you going to have um, issues down the road of what types of things you want to save for? If you should talk about your money personalities. If one person's a spender and one person's a saver, what if they're um, both spenders? Oh, <laughs> that happens a lot. <laughs> All right, so you say, uh, and I thought this was interesting, you, you suggest never to open a joint credit card. Yes. That surprised me. Yes, in our opinion, in my opinion, mm -hmm. um, we believe and I believe that um, joint credit card, there's no benefit to okay. it. That each person should build their own credit mm -hmm. in their own name and keep it separate. I've seen horror stories, if the marriage goes south, with one person will charge a huge amount of credit up on the other person and the other person is jointly liable for it, even let's, if they're separated. Let's talk about dealing with debt, because I think that's always a big one and one that causes a lot of problems. How do you deal with debt? Well, one of the things, which is actually a pre and a post marriage, mm -hmm. is to sit down with the person, full disclosure, sure. and do a budget of, and a net worth statement. Now, okay. a budget shows what's coming in and what's going out and what's left over at the mm -hmm, end. Mm -hmm. Now, in that, you can also see what you have for each person in the debt category. When you do um, net worth, it's assets minus liabilities. An asset would be cash, house, sure, retirement. Sure. A liability would be student loans, credit card debt. The things we hate to say. Yeah, exactly. Uh, important things you should be planning ahead for, obviously, I would assume, you know, saving for a house, children. What, what else is on that list? Uh, retirement. Okay, um, big one. Yeah, very, very big one. Um, and, it's, and also an emergency fund, is, okay. if you're going to talk about saving. We think emergency funds, um, Planners recommend three to six months. I recommend during this economy and in a rough situation where you know somebody could lose their job at any point. Mm -hmm. um, I recommend 12 months. Yeah, I, I, I would tend to agree with you at this at this day and age. Um, that's what I've been telling my clients for the past since since the crisis of 2008. So um, I also think with planning you simultaneously, if some if you're talking about college mm -hmm. for kids mm -hmm. or having kids, you also have to plan for, is one person going to stay home? How are you going to afford that? Um, there's a lot that goes a, into a planning. A lot to think about before and after you say I do. Yes. Carrie, thank you so much for being here you're with welcome. us. I know it gives people uh, plenty of food for thought, that's for sure. The time is a ticking, though, for our finalists for PIX 11's first ever New York City Magical Wedding presented by the Scotto Brothers. So get ready, the deadline to vote for the couple that receives a $100,000 wedding. It ends tomorrow at 11.59 p.m. So you've got to get your vote in right before midnight. Go to WPIX.com, cast your vote, and make some magic happen for your favorite pair over on our website. Now, you can also text WEDDING to 77944 for more about the ultimate wedding prize. Text FINANCE to 77944 for tips for keeping the financial peace in your home provided by Stonegate Wealth Management. And you're going to have to tune in next Wednesday because the couple that you voted for will be revealed live on our show during the 8 o'clock. Hour. We're going to be right back. ABC, easy, one, two, three.